everybody, it is Hobbs here back with you for your Cult Exploitation Week 3 film. We are reviewing Hellride, a Larry Bishop film with assistance from Quentin Tarantino. This film came out in 2008. Larry Bishop is one of the leads in it, if not the lead in the film. You also have Dennis Hopper, David Carradine. With that, which has a very surprising role in very effective role, might I add. You have Vinnie Jones, William Madsen, and also Dennis Hopper, if I didn't already mention it, in this fantastic film. This is a Dimension Extreme release. And there is a better look at the cover. The Rebellion Against All There Is. This has that nice grindhouse look to it on the cover. And like I said here, this is a Grindhouse throwback film, much in the realm of Hubba with a shotgun and that type of throwback feel to it. What you have here is you have a group of biker gangs. One is the Victors, the other is the 666ers. What you have here is you have the Victors head member, who is Pistolero, played by Larry Bishop who is looking to seek a bit of revenge. And the reason for that revenge is a long time ago, during a bad drug deal, or a, a deal with drugs where someone was owed money, a very, very important member of the victors was killed. Now, I'm not going to say specifically who it was, or which character it was, because I want you to watch the film. So many moons later, the victors and Pistolero Played by Larry Bishop, they want to act revenge against the 666ers. So, Pistolero assembles a group of members to come along with him to go extract revenge and find the 666ers and get their payback. And that is the premise of the film. Basically, it's, it's, it's biker warfare. So let me get into my thoughts on this film here. So I really, really liked this film. Uh, it gets a lot of great reviews in IMDb, but then you have people that shit on it, of course. And a lot of people don't like the fact that Larry Bishop is the lead role because he plays the lead role Pistolero in the film. Even though he's directing the film, I thought he did a fantastic job, you know? Um, I like this for the gore, uh, the kill scenes, the fight scenes were fantastic. There was one scene, there was one kill that I've never seen before in a movie, whether it be horror, whether it be cult exploitation, anything, action, I've never seen it. And to me, that was, it blew me away. Um, as far as the characters, I think the characters are fantastic. William Matson was unbelievable and he was hysterical. And he was just a wild man in this film. I loved him in this film. David Carradine, he brought it like he always does. You know. Um, just a really, really well done movie. I really highly recommend it. Uh, now the only qualm I have was the amount of nudity in the film. I felt like for this particular type of film, it probably could have been heightened a little bit. I mean, it isn't a Dimension Extreme film. I'm not talking crazy, crazy, but, you know, probably could have been done just a slight bit more to add a little bit more, you know, pizzazz to the film. But you definitely do get nudity. Let's just not, let's not say that it's not there, but it definitely is there. I thought the story was fantastic. I loved the character development. I really, really loved the twist as well in the film. Really well shot. I recommend this if you like bike biker movies, um, like uh, The Marlboro Man, or if you like um, 
you've seen type of biker revenge movies, uh, you'll really, really enjoy this one. If you like the grindhouse feel, the old classic style grindhouse movies, this one's definitely up your alley. Of course, Quentin Tarantino did work on this one as well. I don't think he had a huge role in this because he was shooting Django Unchained, I believe, during this. So I think he helped, but I think he was going to have a bigger role in the film. But due to him filming Django, I think he had to have a smaller role in this film as far as uh, acting or producing or directing. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was well shot. I was surprised with the budget, surprised with you know the, the director, Larry Bishop. I thought he was fantastic as well. Not sure I get the hate on this film on IMDb, but it's IMDb. However, I highly recommend this one. Um, definitely recommend this one. Uh, outside of that, guys, this is your review for Hell Ride. Like I said, it's just a biker versus biker revenge film. Lots of blood, lots of gore, lots of violence. Tons of violence. Uh, lots of drinking and partying <laughs> as well, as you can expect. Anyways, this is Hobbs, guys. Hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Catch up with you later. Peace. Catch you on the flip.